what's up what's up guys this is words again with another Envo video and today we got the update for january 2022 and it is live and ready for you to go play and have some fun so you can have it in different ways you can go to twitter and check it out check out the link if you follow them on twitter they have a lot of stuff going on on twitter they fix a lot of issues with the update they just dropped so make sure you check out on twitter if you want to go to that route you can also check the link on uh, discord uh, which is gonna take you to steam so if you play on steam so it's easy as well so now let's start and dive into things the first thing they say is the main content of the january update is the addition of different galaxy difficulty levels we want to explain our intention as well as give some details in any case, this is uh, kind of long, the paragraph, so I'm going to try to summarize it as much as possible. So yes, they add difficulty. And then the main thing is about, about the last galaxy, which is Campanella. And so they add an extreme mode, a normal mode, and also a hard mode. But if you are a new player, you go going to play the game, they have a practice mode for the first galaxy. So it's a Zernus. So if you go into the game and you go to uh, go to the galaxy, and you're trying to operate so you go to zerni and you will see that you have a practice mode so if you click on the practice mode you're going to see the difference is going to be they start you up with 150 gold coins that way you can buy something but if you click the start now you're going to see that you just start the single mode just like you would do but if you go to the look for party members that's when you go play with other people online and same thing we have for the campanella planet they have three different difficulties so they have the normal one or you can also do it by yourself or you can go with the team and then they also have the hard one as well as the extreme one the extreme one is what they trying to bring people to get something like a challenge so they give you 500 coins to start with so you know you are in the extreme version if you get 500 coins and if you're on the normal version you know you get no coins so that's the gist of the difficulty that they added so we don't want to spend too much time on things now as far as the rest of the explanation i will leave the link in the description now where you can dive into it and read it as much as you want but one thing i want to highlight right here is that last paragraph right here where they say we deleted base status effect resistance of bosses so players can make use of status effect more and made diverse changes to controls and battle visual effects so that players do not experience unexpected death. Furthermore, we made fixing bug and crash issues utmost priority and was able to fix many of them. So let's go down and with the rest of the details for the upgrade. So as you can see, diversification of galaxy difficulty, that's what we're talking about, the Zerning Planet. They had some description. So when you are playing the game, you'll see some little writing on the screen that says, hey, go buy relic, stuff like that. And then they also said no alert level monster appear and stuff like that. And then, uh, like I was explaining earlier, like when you go to the practice mode, you get that 150 starting gold coins. That way you can buy something. And also, clearing the practice mode will not open Symphonia or the second relic slot. So that's something to keep in mind. So if you want to open uh, the next galaxy, you have to play the normal mode, not the practice mode. And also the relic application percentage is the same, but only 50% of VP, that's the vault point that you get to progress the season pass, will be earned compared to Zerni normal mode. So you'll get less or fewer VP if you play the practice mode, but you get more if you play the actual normal mode. Now go down to Campanella, the normal modes for three people, difficulty level decreased by 25% overall compared to previous Campanella. Clearing Campanella normal unlocks the fourth relic slot. Now that's a very big change because now you with the normal mode you can just add another slot to your build and it makes things a lot easier for you. And then for the hard mode, difficulty level decreased by 10% overall compared to previous Campanella. And the relic application percentage is the same, but VP earn increased by 25%. So you got more vault point when you do the hard mode. And also for the extreme mode, they say it consists of nine planets. So you got more than seven planets now. And then random boss monsters spawn besides fixed boss monsters stages. Players start with 500 gold. As I was explaining before, you get that 500 gold to buy something with a weapon or you can buy some relics. 
Now, while all the stats are equal to their previous Campanella mode, monsters have 30% faster attack, speed, and movement speed. So that's a little bit of challenge. So you just got to take it for what it is. Now, relic replication percentage is the same, but VP earned increased by 50% compared to Campanella normal. So the harder the difficulty, the more vault points that you earn now let's check out the battle improvements i'm not gonna read all the bullets there but there's one that i really wanted to highlight right now they say fighter type breakers no longer have cooldown for shields player can now use shield immediately basically you can use your shield all the time for breakers like a mountain rush or guillotine except for toast you cannot because he use a uh, dash so Keep that in mind so i wanted to highlight this because this is a very big change especially for those of us that play the melee characters now let's move on to status effect improvements i won't read everything because i'm going to leave the link in the description but there's one i want to highlight the boss base resistance change from 50 percent to zero percent example previously freeze lasted five seconds on normal monsters and 2.5 seconds on boss monsters after this change boss monsters are also frozen for five seconds that is a very good change because i noticed it right away while i was playing in the third galaxy once i froze the monster i see that it lasts a little bit longer that was a big change it's a good thing emo taken added now this is just a new way of communicating with your teammates while you're playing the multiplayer version of the game and you can do stuff like you know smile tears cold face etc etc but the good thing is after you clear the galaxy you can just gesture them to say good job man you did a good job stuff like that so you know take it for what it is now we're gonna go down to the additional improvements there's plenty for you to dive into but there's one that i really wanted to highlight because a lot of people talk about this even in the industry people were asking about the crasher shotguns passive effect increased critical chance on use added to description so Initially, that was not in the gun, so you didn't know that the gun was good, so a lot of people didn't use it whatsoever, but now you can see that they add that on there to kind of entice you to use that gun because it's one of the better shotguns in the game. Now, another good thing they added is they say the bonus relic stack effect from third relic onward added in green letters. So you can see it visibly that way when you go to those machines, you're trying to buy a relic, the one that have level from one to five, and it tells you if you buy the third upgrade, then you'll have more skill points whatsoever. That's just an example. So it is a good addition to the game. Anyway, let's move on to the major bug fixes. I'm not going to read all of them like I keep saying, but there's one that I know everybody would be happy to know. Fix issue where players will lock out the bus layers. Yeah, that was a problem for a lot of people on Twitter, on Discord. Everybody was complaining about that. You're trying to go fight the boss and you get stuck outside. So they say they fixed it. I didn't get to that part yet today while I was playing, but I am happy to know that they fixed it. So hopefully it stays that way. Anyway, there are other issues they talk about. Rankings will reset on both Xbox and Steam with the January update. They also say Uzi and Bronte skins that show their face have been added. Uzi 300 crowns and Bronte 200 crowns. So if you like to see the face of these girls, then you can pay 300 or 200 crowns to see them. It's a good addition to the game, right? Anyway, down to the bottom to finish it off, we got non bugs. They say they're working on a lot of other bugs. So because they make it their priority. So we are currently fixing an issue where guillotine's charge skill does not deal damage to stationary bosses and a bunch of other stuff. So you know they are fixing things. Now, if you are on Xbox and you want to check if you're running last update, just press your Xbox button on your controller and go to the game and just press the menu button and go down to where it says manage game and add-ons and then once you get to there you will see that it says version 1.9.1.0 but if you want to go into more detail just check right here and you see on the very bottom you will say update date 1 24 2022 that's january 24 2022 at 10 52 p.m that was last night and you should be able to be up to date anyway guys thanks for watching i really appreciate your being here see you guys later